Hi there. This is the first part of a series where we're making this RC Benchy. So, let's get started. A few weeks ago at 3D Meetup Sweden, I saw the RC Benchy. And yeah, I thought that is a really cool thing. I want to make one. So, I ordered all the parts, all the electronics from Banggood, eBay, and Hobby King, and probably some more places. Most of it is in now, and I printed most of the pieces. There's still a few more things I need to print, but that will be done later. And um, what we are going to do today is having a look at the electronics first. Um, I have put a link to all components I have used in the video description. Some of those electronics are different from the model made by Tulen, who well made the original uh, model, and he has also a great list of electronics you can get. Uh, for example, I used a different remote control. It's I print a bit bigger, and uh, it has more channels, which I'm coming up in a minute. Uh, I also added a bit more functionality. Um, the model from Tulen uses uh, just a simple remote, and that's it. Uh, I decided that I wanted to have the uh, lights, the navigation lights, and also I added a light within the cap. And Tulen gave uh, a link to a really nice model as well. Uh, I added that, but I didn't want to have them just powered on. What I wanted is that I am able to control it from the remote control. So what I've done, this controller has a six channel, and besides the normal steering and uh, powering the engine, I also can control the lightning. So if we look here at the controller, uh, there are a few buttons here at the top. Currently I have set up uh, a small PCB, and I will show it a bit later, uh, within the boat itself that handles it with, together with an Arduino Micro. So what is happening is I read the signal from the uh, receiver within the boat, and from, depending on what signal is coming in, I control the lights with a uh, simple transistor. So if I switch this button here, the navigation lights here at the top will go on. So I switched it and they are now red and green. At the back, and you can't, can't see that on video, but I will turn around the model. Here is the same light, and if I turn it off now, it's going off. So those three lights are there, just one switch. So that's the motor that's working as well. I didn't want to touch that, but that's controlled by uh, this switch here. Um, this switch is a three position switch, so we can also put it a thing a bit further. And then, I'm not sure if you can see it in the video, but there is, I will turn it off around again. There is a light here. And that's work. So if I turn it back, it's off, and if I turn it on, you see it there. So now let's have a look inside the boat, what's all in there, because it's actually pretty much. So I'll see you in a bit when I open up the cap and you can see it all. I've opened up the cap and what you can see is a lot of wires. Uh, I haven't done any wire management, so it still needs to be glued together because it's just currently all together with paint and stamp and things. So once it's glued together and it is uh, actually painted, I will make it a bit more nicer. Uh, what we see here is here at the bottom, we see a uh, LiPo battery. Um, it's currently disconnected for, um, the thing here is a uh, speed controller for the engine and it also has the connection to the battery itself. Uh, here is a PCB and you can see a few LEDs and the same LEDs are uh, con connected to the top of the cabin. So I wanted to have a way to debug the uh, PCB so I put for every output I also put it a LED on the uh, PCB itself. Um, and you can see just there it's a bit difficult to see. Uh, there is a dyna micro and that is handling everything. Um, so it's connected to the um, receiver, and the receiver is very deep, so I'm not going to show that, but it's a really simple uh, six-channel receiver, and that's connected with channel, I think, uh, one and six, so I think. 
Uh, it depends how you set up your controller itself. So um, you can uh, assign the different buttons here at the top. You can assign it to a specific channel and that can read out from the controller. Um, so the senior reading, and I will put the code for the Adina Micro on GitHub and I put it in the description. Uh, it's pretty simple. It's a, a PWM signal and uh, it's between 1000 milliseconds and 2000 milliseconds. And depending on the position of the switch, you can see what the position is. So the uh, zero position is 1000, uh, the middle position is 1500, and the last position is 2000. So you read out within an interrupt uh, how long it took before the change was, and basically you remember that, and you get within a few micro, my, um, milliseconds, and uh, you can read that. So that's not that hard, and the code is pretty small. Um, I will remove the electronics a bit from the boat, so I can show it a bit better. It's not that special, so I'll see you in a bit. I've removed all the hardware from the boat, so let's have a fast look here at the other camera, what's actually inside. So, let's start with um, the receiver, and that's the thing over here. Again, I'm sorry for all of the wires, it's are a lot, because basically it is five con uh, wires from the Arduino there, to this PCB and a few to here, so sorry. Um, let me power him off. So this is the receiver that is connected to the uh, controller. And um, you can see there are four pins connected. These two here at the side, these are going to the Arduino Micro. And those read the signals that come from the controller. And this one is going to the motor for our um, Moving the, via, moving the boat, and this one is going to the uh, steering servo. So, um, those, these two are the same as with normal uh, RC boats, and are just parts suggested by Tulin. So, let's have a look at the Arduino. It, this is here, and um, it's connected directly to the uh, power supply from the battery. So, it's not connected to the 5 volts from the um, speed controller itself because it runs at least 7 volts. The uh, two cell LiPo I'm using is providing enough voltage for the Arduino and that means it's also controlling the LEDs on the boat with more than 5 volts. So you need to be careful when choosing resistor values. Um, depending on the color of the LED you need to choose a specific value for your resistors. So uh, because in every part of the cabin there are two LEDs, you need to choose also a different value for the ones that are going to the cabin as well as the ones on here, because those will be different in most cases. Um, the five pin connector here on the LCD are connected to digital pins on the Arduino, because you can't provide enough power or milliamps from the Arduino to power three LEDs, I needed to use a transistor. So. From every output that's coming in from there, there's one resistor here, and that's not just an MPN resistor, uh, a PC547, I think, and it's really a very common uh, choice. So it's connected with a 1K resistor here at the front, directly coming from the connector, and then going to the resistor. On the resistor itself, there are two things. There is one LED for every output, and that has a specific resistor, and there is one connector that's currently there are only four connected because I didn't have a usage for the fifth one yet. Um, so there's one connector for every LED on the cabinet itself. When we change a value at the connector, you can see the LEDs going on on the PCB. And you can see it, it's a bit they are a bit too clear, but you can see one L white LED here, one green LED here, and one red here. The red LED here is just for uh, showing there is power on the PCB. So that's just, yeah, not doing anything else. Um, if we, I turn the next switch, you will see there's one white LED coming by over there, and that's the inside cap light. And I have also this yellow orangey light, and that's controlled with this switch here. So that's basically it for the electronics. Um, 
The motor itself is a really common brushless motor, uh, nothing special. Um, the uh, speed controller is a Hobby King 10 amps speed controller, which should be more than enough to power this motor. Uh, for the rest, there is not much special regarding electronics in there. Uh, it's just a bit more as the general electronics suggested by Tulin because I wanted to have that dynamic lightning and uh, yeah, it's something yeah that adds some value to the boat, I think. That's it about the electronics. Next time we are going to glue everything together. Uh, I have all the parts needed to fit everything. I have test fitted everything and everything should be fine. So that's something we are going to do in the next video and probably next week. So see you then. Thanks for watching and bye. So thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already and please like this video. It helps the channel a lot. If you want to watch another video, please click here.